हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉट टॉक अबाउट आईएमओ डाटा कलेक्शन सिस्टम ओके इन टुडे वीडियो वील सी वेयर द आईएमओ डिसीज इज अप्लाइड व्हाट इज द रिपोर्टिंग पीरियड व्हाट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ आईएमओ डिसीज एंड आफ्टर दैट थ्रू दिस फ्लोचार्ट वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द सर्टिफिकेशन इज डन एंड हाउ द सी यू सी एड एसोसिएशन इशूड एंड आफ्टर दैट वील टॉक अबाउट सीम पार्ट टू and then we'll see what are the different reporting procedure of a fuel for imo dcs so let's start the video of today before starting the video marine engineering hub is a platform in which we publish this type of video which will be beneficial for examination purpose and for your ship related service so please encourage us by subscribing many of you are watching the video but not subscribing please encourage us by subscribing so that we can continue to bring this type of video and if you want to clear your exam quickly and if you want a material which is much beneficial for examination so please join our channel and you can enjoy the perks so let's start the today video what is an imo dcs so basically imo dcs is a data collection system which was started on 1st march 2018 On first March two thousand eighteen, the Marpol, there was an amendment in Annex six, which enforced the ship to provide data regarding the fuel consumption on board. So it is applicable for the ship which are more than five thousand gross tonnage and above, and which are engaged in the international voyage. So if a ship having a gross tonnage of five thousand and GT and above and engaged in international voyage, need to follow IMO DCS. system after that the reporting period is one year and it will be repeated every time the calendar year is a reporting period so what do i mean by calendar years from 1st january to until 31st december after that let's see what are the requirement of the imo dcs so the requirement of imo dcs basically led to the revision of sim so that we can add this fuel oil consumption data collection plan which include a description of methodology for data collecting and reporting process so what do i mean by that so it means that in imo dcs what we have done we have done a modification in the sim so that we can add that which process should be follow and how the process should be follow will be added in a simp for that reason there is a modification done in a simp so if anybody asks you why the modification are done in a simp so you should answer this after that the data collection will start from 2019 and the reporting will be collected by the administration or ro and then the verification will be done by the administration and after the verification they will issue a statement of compliance so basically let's see the flow chart it will be a very clear idea so as you can see on 1st march 2018 the marpol amendment came for the data collection system and after that all the ship have to update their simp why they have to update they have to update so that they can include why which method they are going to follow and how they are going to report after they have updated they have to same verify it and review it from the class and they have to take a coc confirmance of compliance so before 1st january 2019 after this enter into force you have to update your sim and you have to review your sim and after that you have to issue coc after getting the coc the data collection start and you start collecting the fuel consumption from 1st jan 2019 and you collect it for till 31st december 2019 after that you report this data to the ro or the administration within 31st march it means that after collecting the data you get a time period of 3 month in which you have to report it to the administration and after it has been reported to administration the administration have to verify the data within that 5 month period that is until 31st may 
the verification need to be done by the administration okay the verification need to be done by the administration and after that what will happen the IMO will then the administration will send this data to the IMO before 30 June 2020 so as you can see that for a calendar year after it getting finished it is the data is getting transferred to the IMO database by 30th June okay for the 31st December 2019 means one year calendar data is been submitted to the IMO after six months after following the process of reporting verification and then submission but for second year the data collection again started so when a certificate when a soc is issued the soc the statement of compliance is issued on 31st may 2020 suppose in that case it will be valid for the next cycle till you will get again the soc so the validity of soc is valid from the issue date to the next soc okay so now if anybody asks you what are mentioned in the sim part 2 so in sim part 2 basically it mentioned about what are the particulars of ship means what is the main engine what is the auxiliary engine what is the boiler all that what is the combustion engine what is the type of fuel used what is the emission factor which monitoring method of fuel is been used how much distance you have traveled how much hour underway you have done what is the reporting procedure what is the data quality system so these are all the data which are basically been given in the IMO DCS system okay and the IMO DCS data collection plans is done in according with the MEPC 28070 okay so now let's go to the other thing now in the examination they will ask you in IMO DCS system what are the different method which are mentioned for the data collection so basically there are three method which are mentioned for the data collection one is the bunker delivery node one is a flow meter and one is a fuel tank monitoring so if in the examination they ask you that which data which method you should follow in the IMO dishes so you should say there are three method mentioned in the IMO dishes so you should say these three method now let's see how this three method will be used so you are taking the data for a period of one year okay so now if you are supposed taking from a bunker delivery node so what you will do you will have to take a bunker delivery node annually equal to starting of the ROV calendar means what is the ROV of the calendar minus start plus total BDN minus ROV calendar end so what does it mean it means that what is the ROV of the starting calendar that is plus total number of BDN you have get on the calendar year after that what remaining after the calendar year is coming to the end that will be minus so let's take a value suppose at the starting you have a hundred metric ton so that plus suppose in a calendar year you have received 900 metric ton so 100 metric ton plus 900 metric ton will be added minus suppose after the calendar year come to an end you have remaining 50 so minus 50 so your total consumption will be 950 right I hope you got get, get that okay now second method is the flow meter flow meter method in flow meter method very easy what you will do basically the flow meter is monitored on a 24 hour basis and after that the amount of fuel which is shown in the flow meter is directly help to give us the SFOC which is used for the analyzing how much of consumption of the fuel is done the second is the fuel tank monitoring in the fuel tank monitoring we are monitoring the tank daily and we are analyzing how much amount of consumption of fuel is been consumed and that we are keeping so as you can see the more exact is the second method the third is a fuel tank monitoring you're monitoring you are supposed to fill up a tank to 30 in a day it has consumed 24 so 6 is remaining so 24 you have written like that you are adding up all through a calendar year and after that you are getting how much the fuel consumption in a calendar year so like this you can also monitor the thing okay so these are the three methods which are basically asked 
in the examination the most accurate is the flow meter method okay so distance table over ground in nautical mile and hour underway distance table and hour underway should be aggregated duration while the ship is underway on its own proportion as defined so okay so these are the thing which are asked in the examination i hope you now it's clear that how, what are the different reporting procedure what is the modification done in the sim and what are the thing provided in the sim and after that how the flow chart how the data is collected and how the things are done okay so friend i hope from this video you have learned that what are the is about the imodesias if you gain something so please do subscribe us and please do share have a good